Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to video four in the series of Getting Started with Click Cloud, where I walk you through realistic scenarios on setting up your environment, creating content, and providing additional tips and tricks and nuances about the platform. Now, in the last video, I discussed creating a shared space and inviting members to that space. I ended the video explaining that I wanted to present managed spaces next. And I will do that, but it will make more sense once we set up a visual identification for the different users that are going to use that environment. So this video is basically just going to show you how to set your profile pick within the Click Cloud platform. Now, for example, here you can see John Doe, which is associated with the user menu. And if I just switch over to myself, you can see my profile pick. Now these profile pics are actually associated with the registered email address and with the site Gravatar. So I'm just gonna run you through a brief scenario, setting up another account with the profile pic and then changing it just to show you how it updates. So if you're familiar with Gravatar, which stands for Globally Recognized Avatar, it basically allows you to register an email address and associate an image with that email address. And then whatever sites use Gravatar for the profile pic, it'll automatically associate that pic with the email address. So here I have one already for, uh, I use Donkey Kong in this example here for a account that I've set up. So I'm just gonna go to my Gravatars and you can see I have Donkey Kong click at outlook.com and we have the image associated. So right now I'm just gonna log in to the Click Cloud platform. And you can see in the upper right, we have the Donkey Kong pic. Now, if I wanted to change that or add it, you would register with Gravatar and then you would add your image to the registered email address. So here I'm just going to click add new image, upload new, choose a file. And in my images location, I'm going to choose this green background avatar. Click next. Then I'm going to click crop image and set my rating. And that's all you need to do. Now, Gravatar states that changes can take up to 24 hours. What I'm seeing here is probably takes maybe five to 10 minutes. So in this case here, if I log out, and then I log back in, with the magic of video editing, you can now see that my avatar has been updated to the appropriate profile pic that I chose for Gravatar. Okay. So now that we have our visual identification for our different accounts, it'll be easier when I switch back and forth between accounts as I provide additional demonstration. So in the next video, we're going to talk about managed spaces, but it's important to understand at the time of this recording, the trial only supports the shared spaces implementation. So for managed spaces, I'm going to use my enterprise edition just to show you when we create content and we publish it, how it works within a managed space. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.